In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you a simple trick for improving your ball striking very quickly. That's the goal of my teaching, is to help you improve very fast, and so if what we're doing is correct, you'll start hitting the ball better today, not in a week, a month, or years. Uh, some instructors want you doing drills and changing your backswing and all kinds of things uh, with the promise of someday hitting the ball better. My goal is to help you hit the ball better today. So what we're gonna do, uh, is talk about what we need in order to make perfect impact with the golf ball. And it should be obvious, but it's something that conventional instruction seems to pass over, uh, at least most instructors do, uh, and that's impact is the moment that counts. And working on your backswing for months and years or even days is not going to, for most of you, improve your impact. And uh, it's not going to improve the way you're delivering the golf club. It may change the path a little bit. So if I take the club a little bit more to the outside, it may keep me from swinging from the inside too much uh, and vice versa. Uh, but it's not going to change how the club is coming into impact. And what we need to do is deliver the golf club. And this is the first most important point. We need to have this grip leading the club head through impact. And there's four reasons for that, uh, which are, should be simple to understand. And all you need to do is pick up a golf club to take a look at it. Uh, if you pick up a club and then move the grip forward of the club head and let it move forward and watch the club face, you'll see there's very little rotation in the club face. Whereas if you let the club do this, let the club head pass your hands, you'll see all kinds of club face rotation. Uh, so if we obviously it's desirable to have the face staying square through this impact area. Yes, there's a lot of rotation coming in to impact, but as we get near the ball, that rotation can be minimized here through this impact area. Uh, and then after that, if there's gonna be rotation again, as soon as the club passes the alignment of the leading arm, there's a lot of rotation. And so it's really important that in this area, as the club's coming into alignment with the leading arm, uh, that there's little rotation and for obvious reasons uh, most mistakes I see golfers making are uh, left and right mostly a lot of shots to the left and slices to the right and it's simply because the club face is uh, sometimes open sometimes closed uh, what ends up happening is they end up adjusting their alignment uh, and there's a multitude of errors but most of them can be solved simply by delivering the club with the grip leading through impact. This also can create what's called a flat spot so that the club head is coming in. As it's coming in, it becomes very shallow and stays very flat to the ground through the impact area. Now we're gonna get into this a little bit because it's not going to happen if you're moving down into the ball and if you're not turning your body, uh, then it's not going to happen because the grip's going to continue to move down, and what's going to happen, the club head's going to crash into the ground. It's going to make a big divot. You'll end up hitting some fat shots and some thin shots. Uh, so what we need to have happen to create that flat spot as the hands are leading, we need the grip to be moving upwards uh, through the point of impact, and that's happening through the rotation of the body. So the lead side of the body uh, is moving upwards, uh, which is helping to create this very desirable flat spot through impact. And so as the, it's moving up through the lead shoulder rising and the lead leg straightening, this is also creating power, what's known as parametric acceleration. Uh, and it's simply the fact that uh, you can try it out for yourself. If you swing a club uh, like this and just let it swing back and forth, uh, there's no way to really speed it up unless you start adding some motion, you can start moving a little bit but if you really want to speed it up, you just pull up. If you pull up, it creates speed, but it also creates a flat spot. We're using the body motion to do that, and my learning system teaches you exactly how to do that through impact, and I'm gonna get into that in a moment, how you can do it. I'm gonna tell you in this video uh, the secret to doing that. Uh, it also, at the same time, is creating a straight spot. So we have a flat spot and a straight spot, and basically the straight spot through impact is being created by the same factor. The grip is moving up, but also inward as the club head's moving outward. And as the club's releasing, it creates a straight spot. 
So we have straight, flat, and less rotation. It's also with the club in this position, the ball would be making contact low on the club face from a normal lie on the ground. And if we tilt the club forward, we're hitting the middle of the face. So we have centeredness of contact as well. It's just important for you to be able to improve your game to understand we need this for, vert, for every golf shot, even the driver. We need the club coming in that way and the ball's a little bit more forward. It's the same motion though. In order to learn how to do this, you need to start with very short swings. You need to perfect impact moving from here to here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in this video. And it's also a main part of my learning program is teaching you how to make great impact. And I do this in my schools and step-by-step step in my learning program and for my clients who send in videos uh, for my review. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell to accept notifications as new videos are released. Uh, that way you won't miss any of my new videos where I'm gonna go into more depth on how to improve your golf game qu as quickly as possible. When we're talking about learning how to make great impact, it's important to understand how it all works. And we're gonna start with really uh, short swings. Many of you know I simplify the swing through the setup in teaching you to set up with the club in a position where the wrists are in ulnar deviation. They're here, I say cocked and uncocked, but they're in this position here, uh, which, means instead of, which means instead of setting up here and then swinging and it's there and the club's extended, uh, we just start out in that extended position, uh, similar to what Bryson DeChambeau does. And there's been a lot, and there's a lot of golfers playing golf this way, and I've taught this concept for over 25 years. So uh, it's a lot easier if you do it that way, but this is gonna help you regardless of what method you're using, because impact, again, is what counts. So we're just gonna set up for impact, and then we're going to learn. What I want you to do is get set up, raise up a little bit, and then we're gonna just turn back. So the club's just past your trailing foot, and then I want you to turn quickly through. And I want the, you at the same time from here, I want the wrist to be relaxed so that when you turn, there's a little bit of hinging in this trailing wrist. So it does that. We're going here, hinge, and turn through. If you watch the club face, if you have the hands oriented properly, as I show you how to do in some of my other videos, back, turn through, you notice the club face staying square here as we turn through. So it's important to understand uh, we can do this first here, turn and through. Through, much like if we were throwing a ball, it's that same motion, the wrist hinges back as we turn through. We're actually turning through with the body uh, before uh, the club starts moving forward. How the legs are gonna work as we're doing this is also very important, so what we need to learn to do what position can we get into individually for impact? We're all different, different levels of flexibility, uh, and uh, it's important to understand even with injuries, this is a very body-friendly uh, concept. We want to make sure that setting up for impact, setting up in your impact plane makes it easier, and it's easier on your body. But at the same time, in order to create these perfect impact parameters, we need to see that we're getting the hips, the pelvis turned towards impact. And you'll see the legs going from a bent to a more straightened position at impact. And so it looks a little bit like this. We're set up here is our setup and impact is gonna be there. So I want you first to get set up and then pushing with your feet so the legs are straightening, the hips are turning that you feel the pelvis and the upper torso turning, and that's gonna be more the impact position, which is going to allow for this perfect impact. Then what we'll do is make a little backswing along with it, back to here, push to here. And you can do this here to impact and through. We want the club in alignment with the leading arm and the leading leg here. And again, clients of mine can send in videos from my review 
Uh, it's inexpensive monthly or yearly payment and you can send in up to two videos every day here and then there we want to see the club just scraping the ground here through impact so we want to get the feel of that it's a little body turned back and then the wrist hinge and it's to there if I go in slow motion here a little hinge and then just hold it through impact once you get the feel for that uh, make a couple practice swings paying attention make sure the head stays back I like to start with the head back of center head stays back the clubs making contact with the ground in the right spot and then go to the ball and again same swing you need to keep repeating that over and over and over again until it's learned until you can just pick up a golf club and make that motion that you're delivering the club with a square flat spot on a straight path and hitting the center of the club face uh, so you'll find a lot of a lot more videos here on my channel again subscribe if you haven't already click the thumbs up button if you like the video and visit setupforimpact.com for more information if you really want to take your game to the next level visit my schools uh, my online learning program uh, makes it really easy for you to improve your ball striking again it's impact that counts get out there you can do this in your living room if it's winter uh, or summer I practice this all the time this is really my main drill thanks again for watching and I look forward to hearing how much you've improved your game